we've developed relationships with First Nations schools to provide them with opportunities at first to join our robotics competitions and learn and program robots. The students who've been with the program for a few years are really um, they're developing on, on a lot of different levels. A lot of our kids are really quite shy and reserved and being able to, to develop our own little robotics community has developed some really interesting friendships both in, both in our school and branching out and meeting some of the other teams. They're uh, starting to come out of their shells a little bit more. The second year kind of got a little bit more better. I uh, was more outgoing because the first year I was a little shy, didn't want to talk as much. But then as years progressed, uh, kind of helped me uh, get out of my shyness and start talking to more people, uh, getting more involved in these like, different kind of stuff. For me, I'm not as competitive. So if we win or lose, it doesn't really matter. At least I got to be in the game and do as, do as good as I can. And this actually gives me like some skill sets for, uh, for when, I, when I go out of uh, high school. Our school's very remote. Um, our kids live fairly isolated lives in terms of their exposure to what's going, actually going on in the world. So having this robotics program and the automation, the computer generation, the programming really helps kind of expose them to what's actually going on in the world economy and uh, put them in a position to move forward with the world. You know, a lot of the things that they're going to do in the future probably don't exist yet. And, uh, but we're trying to get them positioned so that when all of that is created, they'll be a part of it.